I have to say that out of all the carriers with the mid-band 5G rollouts, AT&T with their C-band, their N77 rollout, probably the most underwhelming. So I think that's what we'll hashtag in this video, hashtag underwhelming. So here's why I think it's fair to say this. And I think, you know, the, the little bit of pushback that we're getting in the media, the little bit of pushback we're getting from customers, wireless network tech enthusiasts, people are kind of bummed out with AT&T. All right, so number one issue, only in eight U.S. cities, eight markets. That is very underwhelming. All right, I predicted maybe 10. We got eight, right? So, and I thought I was being conservative. Um, <laughs> you know, Verizon launched in many more markets, large PEAs, you know, and, and so comparatively, a lot of people are like, yo, AT&T, where are you at? You know, uh, also within those eight markets, very little scale. You know, they don't have that many sites up unlike Verizon. Uh, and I think also very little communication from them about the rollout and, and whatever customers are looking for answers, they're not getting them. So there's a number of things here. Supply chain issues, all of course. I think every carrier is dealing with that. I think AT&T definitely feeling it. They're also the fiber-focused company. It's converting for them. It's profitable for them. They win with it. So, you know, maybe there's a little bit of that in play. I also think there could be the element of them waiting for compatible gear where they can broadcast their entire 3 gigahertz. So they've got 3.7 C-band, and then they have 3.4 C-band. Spectrum Auction 110 just happened and cleared, and you know all of that is going to happen later on this year. That might be in play here as well. And I, I also, and I really truly believe this, I think there are many existing C-band sites that AT&T has up that are simply near the airports. You know, these are places that need capacity. So they kind of, the FAA and the airline industries, they got dealt a, de dealt a bad hand in this. You know, they, they exclusion zones. And I think also I'm getting the sense of this from within watching the company and how they're moving. I just think at and taking taken a conservative approach, right? The number of pops, a little bit less than Verizon. You know, the extent of the build in each of the markets, less than Verizon. So the, not only is it a, a slightly more conservative build, a slightly more conservative, uh, you know, anticipation, you know, and, I, and, I, and I'll be honest with you guys. I think they're also having problems with the network. We saw outages. Uh, people were indicating that in Ohio. I think they're having trouble with sites and they're, they're modifying the core and working on things. They just don't want things to crash and they want their customers to have a good experience. They're not going to jeopardize that and negotiate that. So I think it's the perfect storm. I think it's a lot of that. And it's unfortunate because Verizon is pushing through a lot of these same issues. But then again, Verizon is not AT&T. They are different, different type of CEO, different type of people at the company. They make different decisions and they respond differently. I mean, clearly, right, T-Mobile, a very different company, too. It's just they're all different. And I think, you know, we can kind of stick to this this theme here. While it is underwhelming, you can clearly see a more conservative approach. So for those of you out there looking for more from at and I understand. I get it. You have high standards. You expected more. But I think you're just going to have to pump the brakes. I think mid-year we'll see a very sizable, robust build in those eight cities plus more. By the end of the year, you'll see something much more like what Verizon is doing. They just got to catch their groove. They got to get their traction. I think that's what we're going to see. So pump the brakes. It's coming. Just be patient. Give them a little bit of time. They'll get it right. And I'm sure it's going to be great once they do hit their stride. Your thoughts and opinions, welcome down below. You all are the voice of the people of the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Uh, please do like and share this video. Subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notifications so you never miss an upload. Links in the description box for my Patreon page. Support us. Get discounts on those mobile. Early access to content not found anywhere else. And then my Twitter and email is down below as well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.